Hey guys, JJ here, and today I'll be discussing the new Resident Evil 7 Not A Hero trailer that hints at the possibility that Chris Redfield may not in fact be the real Chris Redfield. With that being said, let's get right into it. Recently, Capcom dropped a new trailer for the upcoming Not A Hero DLC. While it showed us a lot of the same content we've already seen in previous trailers, this new trailer featured Pete from Sewer Gators. Sewer Gators was a show that was being filmed in Resident Evil 7. For those of you that don't know, Pete from Sewer Gators is also Pete in real life and is a senior manager of the Global Research and Development Department at Capcom. In this trailer, Pete questions Redfield saying the same thing many of us fans have said when we found out that Chris was in the game. Pete says, isn't he supposed to be the Hero, but he's working for Umbrella, but Umbrella went under. I don't know what's going on. Then, at the end of the video, Pete holds up a picture and says, are you sure this is the? And then the screen cuts out, which heavily indicates that he was about to say, are you sure this is the real Chris Redfield? We couldn't actually get a glimpse of what was on the picture, but it's not hard to see what Capcom was trying to do with this trailer. I have to admit, I was very interested hearing Capcom acknowledge people's reactions to the new Chris Redfield, but does this mean this isn't the real Chris Redfield? Well, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Chances are, Capcom is just trying to take advantage of the controversy surrounding Chris Redfield and use it to stir up the community once again to build hype for Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition, which is set to release in December. One thing many fans don't realize is that the controversy surrounding Chris Redfield is actually a good thing for Capcom. People are talking about it. People are posting about it on social media. This is basically free promotion for them, so it only makes sense that they would take advantage of the situation. In my opinion, I would have preferred to see the most recent version of Chris Redfield we've seen in some of the latest titles, but honestly, at this point, I could really care less. I just want to know why he's working for Umbrella. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this may in fact not be Chris Redfield? Or maybe this is just a promotion tactic by Capcom? Or are you like me and you quit caring a while ago? Let me know down in the comments. I'll leave a link to the trailer down in the description so you can watch for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and for more Resident Evil content like this, be sure to subscribe. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon-supported show, so if you'd like to see your name here in the credits or unlock some other really great perks, head over to patreon.com slash row network. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and Instagram at row network. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.